हेलो डी स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई सी ई अकेडमी बेनिफेक्टर इन दिस क्लास विल बी सेंग डिज़ाइन ऑफ मॉड्यूल एन काउंटर द टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम द यूनिट सिक्वेंशियल लॉजिक सर्किट इन शॉर्ट वी कैन कॉल इट अ सिक्वेंशियल सर्किट द सब्जेक्ट नेम इज द डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सो वॉट आर द स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व इन द डिज़ाइन ऑफ मॉड्यूल एन काउंटर दे दो आर समराइज हियर इन सिक्स स्टेप्स फर्स्ट स्टेप इज ओप्टेन द ट्रांजिशन टेबल फ्रॉम द सर्किट इन्फॉर्मेशन वॉट इज द सर्किट इन्फॉर्मेशन गिवन इट विल बी गिवन इन द स्टेट डाइग्राम फॉर्म बेस्ड ऑन द स्टेट डाइग्राम फॉर्म वी नीड टू गैदर द सर्किट इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड ओप्टेन द ट्रांजिशन टेबल After obtaining the transition table, the second step is determine the number of flip flops needed. Third step: choose the type of flip flops to be used. Whether you want to use SR flip flop, JK, D flip flop, or T flip flop, choose the type of flip flop to be used. Fourth point: from the transition table, derive the circuit excitation table. Fifth point: Use K map or any other simplification method to derive the circuit, the flip-flop input functions. Sixth point: Draw the logic diagram. That is using the flip-flop, we need to draw the logic diagram. In this class, we'll be seeing the design of mod six counter and. Uh, how this six points are been covered in it if you understand this six steps you can design any modular encounter so let us start with mod 6 counter and we are designing synchronous counters so as you know counters are of two types synchronous counter and asynchronous counter this topic uh, we are doing it for synchronous mod 6 counter the given question is design synchronous mod 6 counter using clogged t flip flop okay what is mm, this is a given question this is a circuit information based on that we need to draw the transition table mod 6 counter means it will count the states from 0 to 5 that is it will have six states mod 6 means six states starting from 0 to 5 after 5 it will go back to the zero state the state diagram for mod 6 counter is 0 1 2 3 4 5 and after 5 it will go back to zero so the based on the circuit state um, question statement we have drawn the state diagram this is on a state diagram mod 6 counter will count six states starting from 0 to 5 after 5 it will go back to 0 so how many flip flops are required for it the number of flip flops required formula is 2 to the power n should be greater than or equal to capital n So here, what is capital N? Mod n means n value. Capital n value is six. So two to the power of n should be greater than or equal to six because n is mod six. N is equal to six. So two to the power n should be greater than or equal to six. So, so what is the value of n here? Two to the power three is equal to six. So n will be equal to three. So how many flip flops are required? Three flip flops are required. so we can find the number of flip flops required based on the formula 2 to the power n should be greater than or equal to and this is one way of finding the number of flip flops required or based on the state diagram also we can decide the number of flip flops required it's counting from 0 to 5 the largest number is 5 here and to represent 5 we need 3 bits that is 101 So five is one zero one. So we need three flip flops based on the largest number. The number of bits required for its representation can also decide the number of flip flops, or we can use this formula. So the first step is uh, now. Next step is to write the transition table. 
what is transition table comprising of present state next state and the flip flop inputs how many flip flops are used here three flip flops so here we have selected t flip flop so the flip flop inputs are written as three flip flops and that is of type t t flip flop t a t b t c so flip flop input column is clear present state so what is the present state three flip flops q a q b q c next state what will be the next state of q a q a plus 1 q b next state will be q b plus 1 q c next state will be q c plus 1 present state next state flip flop inputs q a q b q c q a plus 1 q b plus 1 q c plus 1 t a t b t c so when we are having three inputs q a q b q c we can write total seven combinations that is 0000010011011 and triple 1 so this is a present state what will be the next state how can we write that the next state will be written based on this state diagram so triple zero is what triple zero is zero state so after zero what is the state here one so what will be the next state zero zero one after one what is the number two what is two zero one zero after two what is the number here three so it will be written as zero double one after three it is four zero double one one this is three so what is three uh, after three it is four four is one double zero then one double zero is four after four what is the number five one zero one after five what will come after five it is going back to zero so after five it will be Zero. And here six and seven are not existing. One one zero is six. Triple one is seven. These are not existing, so we put them. Don't care here. Okay. Now we are having the present state and the next state. So we know the excitation table of T flip flop. how to write the excitation table q n present state q n plus 1 is the next state 0 0 0 t flip flop means toggle flip flop so whenever there is toggling that is going from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 the output will be 1 when both the inputs are same the output will be 0 here both are 1 the output will be zero here the transition is from zero to one so what happened the output became one here the transition is from one to zero the output became one this is the excitation table based on this excitation table now we have to fill this data here how it is now we have to compare qa qa plus 1 zero zero what will be ta no change zero zero Zero, 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 one, 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 zero, one, zero. This is one, and here it is zero. So there is a toggling. So whenever there is toggling, it will be one, one and x. What we can do for it? can write it as x x okay now now coming to tb compare qb and qb plus 1 zero 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 0 this is 1 this is 0 so it will be 1 0 0 0 0 will be 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0
0. 0, 0 will be 0. Now coming to TC column. How it will be filled? Compare QC and QC plus 1. This is 0, 1, 0, 1. What will be the output? 1, 1, 0. Output is 1. QC 0, 1. Output will be 1. This is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. This is 1, this is 0, 1. So, whenever there is toggling that is 0, 1, the output will be 1. So, we got the flip flop inputs TA, TB and TC. We need to now draw 3 K maps, one for TA, other for TB and another for TC. Coming for TA, the K map is drawn here. So, we are having as per this table, we are having 3 inputs QA, QB, QC and we are solving the K map for TA. So, the 3 variable K map which is drawn here QA, QB, QC. QAM is 0, 1. This is QB, QC 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. So, looking at this TA column, look at this TA column. So, where is TA equal to? TA is equal to summation where there 1? 1 is at 3 and 5. At 3 and 5, we are having 1s and other 6 and 7 are do not care. Okay. So, we can fill the TA here. If you know the numbering of the cell, it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are the cell numbers. Now, for TA where we want to fill 1 at 3 and 5. So, at 3 and 5 we are having the 1 and 6 and 7 are do not care. Okay. So, what will be TA equation now? Now, we are having two pairing, one is this one, another one is this one. So, what it is written? For this pair, for this grouping, it is one one that is QB, QC. And for this grouping, what is common here? QA, in these two what is common? C is common Q C. Okay, so we are able to write the equation for T A as Q A plus Q A Q C plus Q B Q C. Okay, now coming for T B, what is T B equal to? Summation. Now where T B is one at 1 and 3. At 1 and 3 it is 1. So, T B is 1 and 3 it is 1 and do not care at 6 and 7. So, now let us see what is T B K map. So, let us put the K map at 1 and 3. The cell numbers are 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and if you look at this K map, it is having 1, 1 here. So, we have done this grouping and we are having here do not care. So, will we require this grouping? No. Why? Because once we do the grouping, there are no ones left. So, there is no need to do grouping with this x. So, we are having only one term for T B that is Q A bar Q C. Okay. Now, coming to T C, 
for T C the one values are at from zero to five. All are one zero. T C is one at zero one two three four and five. And uh, don't care at six and seven. So let us fill the K map for T C. T C it is Q A Q B Q C. 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 ok so we have to fill this k map with tc all are 1 and at 6 and 7 they are don't care so we can make one octet here for one octet what is the answer value is 1 so we got the three equations for the three k maps. One is for T A. T A is coming as Q A Q C plus Q B Q C. And for T B we are having Q A bar Q C. And for T C we are having 1. So based on these three equations we need to draw the mod 6 counter. So how many flip flops we are requiring? Three flip flops T A. TB and TC. Their outputs are QA, QA bar, QB, QB bar, QC, QC bar. So we have taken three flip flops TA, TB, TC. And we have given the common clock to all the three flip flops because it is a synchronous counter. So it is a synchronous as well as positive edge trigger. The same clock is given to all the three flip flops. Now what should be the TA value? TA value should be QA QC. So we are giving QA QC to get here QA QC and this is QB QC. So here we are getting QB QC. So, what will be the output here of this OR gate? QA QC plus QB QC. The output of this OR gate is given to the T flip flop. Now, coming to TB, what should be the TB input? It is QA bar, QA bar and QC. So, the output will be QA bar QC. So, this output of this AND gate is given to TB. Now, coming to TC, TC value is 1. So, TC is connected to 1. Okay. In this way, we have connected the inputs of TA, TB and TC. And we can take the outputs as QA, QB and QC. Okay, so in this way we can design synchronous mod 6 counter. I hope you have understood the class. If you have any queries, you can post in the comment section. So let us very quickly summarize. So first we have drawn the mod 6 state diagram. And based on the largest number, we decided to use three flip flops and draw on the transition table comprising of QA, QB, QC, QA plus 1, QB plus 1, QC plus 1, and three inputs of flip flop TA, TB, TC. And uh, based on the excitation table, we have filled a TA, TB, TC and written the uh, simplified the KMF for TA. TB and TC. Based on the obtained equation of TA, TB, TC, we have finally drawn the logic diagram of mod 6 counter. Thank you. Good luck students.